Hey everyone, this is Brie from Doubles or Nothing. This is my church tote, Bible study tote, um, I don't know anything having to do with prayer journal, war journal, scripture notes, all of that is in here. And um, I guess not, it's not like going to church with me right now, but it will be. And it looks kind of huge, but I won't need to bring my purse in a church, so this will kind of be like my only bag. Um, we just moved to Wisconsin from Minnesota and actually have not even been able to physically attend our church because we move here, get settled in, and then the church shuts down because of the virus. So um, I'm all ready for when we can go back to church, but for now this is just kind of like my all the Bible study at home type of stuff. And I do keep it on the couch next to me when I'm like taking notes and watching sermons on YouTube. So that's kind of nice. Um, so I will start with the outside pockets here. I have just a random paper clip that my son probably put in here. Um, he's just turned one. I have these two tins from Tim Holtz. Got these from probably Joann's, Michael's, Michael's maybe? Um, and these just keep some of the smaller items so I can keep track of them. Um, these little like uh, post-it page flags. These tiny scissors that are like thread scissors, Ginger. Um, thread scissors, but I use them for like cutting anything tiny. Uh, I, I bring them downstairs when I'm actually going to sew, but I rarely sew anymore. Um, my one Faber-Castell Faber gelato that I have not gotten the hang of yet. Um, but I did get a comment on my video about how to use it, so I am definitely going to give it another try. And that is it in here. The other one is my tweezers with this little girl. I love her. This is so cute. And then I have a whole bunch of paper clips in here. Just these little teardrop style ones and then these tiny Tim Holtz ones that are really great for like putting a bunch of paper clips in your Bible because they're not going to like bulk it up at the top but they'll still keep your spot. And then I have a couple of these friction highlighters. These are the erasable ones. Um, these work really, really well in my Bible. They don't bleed through at all. It's like I wrote with pencil on that page, like you don't see a thing. And I actually highlight over something twice because if I do it just once, it's super faint and I find that really annoying. So um, I will highlight over everything twice and it still doesn't bleed through. I've tried erasing them on my fragile Bible pages too and they work just fine. Then I have this um, rubber stamp. It's just this grid pattern. And I just like using this uh, with, actually with these Distress Inks. Um, my son plays in this a lot. <laughs> he loves this bag, so everything's just kind of a mess all the time. But he really loves it. So I these are like super faint on paper. And so I like to use these in this and put it on like my Bible page for the um, like the line portion before I start writing. I like to put that down sometimes. I just love that pattern. I'll put it in my planner sometimes too. And then this next pocket I just keep a bunch of stickers. So these are ones I just tend to use in my Bible a lot. Yeah, I can't talk. I actually got these in Happy Mail and I have not used them yet. They're super cute though, like old fashioned stamps. But this is not actually supposed to be in here. Um, I have this Carpe Diem tab book that I got, ooh, 250, sweet, <laughs> months and months ago. But <clears throat> I like to put tabs in my Bible with this. And then I have all these Alpha stickers from Joann's, Michael's, wherever. I love Alpha stickers because I like being able to just write out a word, uh, whatever word I want, you know, without having to sticker for it. I have this Small Talk book from Tim Holtz, which actually doesn't have a whole lot that like would apply to my Bible in here. Um, I've used a few of them, but I kind of keep it in here because it goes well with, like it, it stores well with these other books. And then when I want them in my planner, I just take it out, like I know it's here. So um, the Happy Planner Alpha sticker book, and then the Happy Planner, the original colorful boxes. Just keep those for Bible journaling. And then... I actually have nothing in that back pocket, so that works. Okay, so in here I have, first and foremost, my Bible. Oh, 
So I have the Inspire Bible, actually given to me by my sister. If you watch my What's in My Delphonics Pouch video, you'll realize that my sister gives me pretty much everything I have. She's just so sweet and so generous. Um, and we just like giving each other gifts. That's just really, really fun for us. So she sent me this because she knew that I'd, my Bible I had just doesn't have any spot for journaling at all or like even the most like tiniest amount of notes I can't fit in my journal. Or, I'm sorry, my Bible. But I love it because my husband got it for me for my first Mother's Day when our, right after our son was born. And um, I really love that Bible, but I just need to be able to write stuff out directly on the page when I'm like, reading so um, I really love this Bible and these tabs I got from Amazon probably and then I have this Vera Bradley I'm sorry I'm laughing because my sister gave me this as well um, Vera Bradley pouch that I got she got me as part of my Christmas gift this last year I have nothing in the little pocket but it is full of the pens and maybe even some highlighters from my stash that write well on my Bible pages. Because um, I like to keep track of that so I can have ones and not worry about using pretty colors and bleeding through the page. So what I did was in the back here, I have a little pouch with some tabs and tape. Um, there we go. I did a pen test. And um, these, I actually don't remember. Oh, these are, um, my Tombow markers, the dual brush pens. But I, you know, write with all of these. None of my jelly pens, have, jelly rolls, have bled through except, let me find it maybe. Okay, I'm not seeing it here, but I will grab the pen just so you can be warned. It's a beautiful pen. However, this jelly roll, it's like, it doesn't say metallic, never mind. But this is what it has. And this is the jelly roll that it is. This one bled through like crazy. All it showed, so it showed up purple when I wrote, and then it faded into that like silver color. And then I was like, oh, that's pretty, whatever. Turned the page, and all the purple had leaked through to the next page. So like it all bled right through. So I can't even read through it. The purple is so thick. So I love this jelly roll. Do not use it in your Bible. Absolutely not. The other ones that are similar to it and have the same symbol. All work just fine, but that purple one is a no, definite no. So Pentel Energels work great. Um, Zebra Sarasa Clips work well. All the other jelly rolls I've tried, oops, work well. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Zebra Mild Liners are great. These friction pens are great. None of these have given me any trouble. So I keep all the jelly rolls that I can use in my Bible all here, so that I can just grab whatever color. Not have to think about it. So then I have this notebook is um, one that I got for, um, I actually got it for free. It's like a giveaway thing at one of my like past jobs. And this I use just for, it's just lined, and I just write the date at the top and write out a prayer when I feel like writing out a prayer. Um, obviously this is not gonna house all my prayers because my, my hand would hurt, I couldn't write that much. But when I wanna just sit down and get my thoughts out, and just have a conversation with God. Sometimes, if I have time, I will write it in here. And then in the back, I keep prayer requests. So if someone says like, can you please pray for me for whatever specific, um, I keep those in here so that I can actually be reminded to pray for them. And then this is a B5 Stayology. It is huge. Let me see if I have a comparison. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my a6 stalogy next to the B5. So um, it's quite a bit bigger. Very, very big actually. And I have this for sermon notes. So um, this is strictly for if I'm watching or listening to an actual sermon and want to write like the notes, keep the notes together as a whole about that passage and about what that speaker says about that pa passage. So it's not for scripture writing. I do that in here. It's not for like when I'm reading on my own and want to keep a note about a passage, that's in my Bible. Everything has to be separate so that I'm like, what's that one thing I wanted to remember? And I'm like, oh yeah, it was by that one speaker. So let's look it up in here. I don't date these, I don't believe. Nope, but I do keep them in order. And I write, um, I write the passage on it. So like, 
just like this. That's it. So this is a brand new one to me. As you can tell, I only have like five or six sermon sermons worth of notes in here, but I just put this little um, pen loop on it so I can keep my um, Zebra Sarasa mark on, which is the absolute best pen to use if you ever want to highlight something after you've written in it. So if you think there's a chance you're gonna wanna highlight later, use this pen for sure. Zebra Sarasa mark on. This is in 0.5. I have some 0.4s coming in the mail because I really like to write with a fine tip, but even the 0.5 is quite fine. It's really nice. Take those. And then I have, right now, I just have this book that I got, I bought secondhand online, um, just about um, strengthening your prayer life. And I've barely started it. I'm only a little bit into it, but already I love it. I'm writing so many notes and it's, Got me to actually start my real war binder so I can keep track <clears throat> of prayers I'm praying over and over again, who I want to pray for on what days so I can make sure I'm praying for everybody I want to. And my brain just works that way. I need to have like a set plan. Um, it's like Monday, I pray for my family. Tuesday, I pray for my friends. And I don't remember the exact schedule. It's in here somewhere. But um, actually, I have it here. Monday is my immediate family, like my husband, my kids. Tuesday, extended family or Eric's family, um, so all my in-laws. Wednesday is my friends. Thursday, church and community. Friday, government leaders or global issues. Saturday, I just pray for my husband, Eric. Sunday, I pray for myself. So, obviously if something comes up, I pray for people when I pray for them. But those days, I make sure I set aside time to pray for those exact issues. So this is not a war blinder flip right now or anything. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty much just, it's barely set up so far, but it's working really well. And I'm not in a hurry to set it up. I'm just going to keep adding stuff as I go, as I see fit. So it's just, it doesn't fit in this, but this is a pouch from Christina Loves Planning. And it's actually for my B6 Stayology, but that cover from Hand Stitch Leather Tea has not come yet. So until it does come, I am putting my personal wide rings from Foxy Fix in here. And it doesn't quite fit, as you can see. It's a little bit bigger than a B6, but... That's okay. So that is everything in my uh, church tote, Bible study tote, whatever you want to call it. Right now it's kind of just a Bible study tote, but um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave any comments you have down below. I will try to link everybody that I can think of that would like be helpful to you. A lot of it is just like Michael's, Joanne, stuff like that. But anything else that I mentioned, I will try to leave links for. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great night.